Hello everyone, my name is Parag and welcome you all in my new video. Here I am giving some uh, numerical explanation about the slope deflection method. So in this numerical I am going to discuss some uh, um, basic uh, terminologies of the fixed end movement, uh, slope deflection equations and equilibrium conditions of the slope deflection method. Okay, and uh, at the end we have calculating uh, the bending moment diagram uh, calculation, shear force diagram calculation. Uh, with the help of the slope deflection method okay this numerical is coming uh, come in the examination is for around 20 marks so hope that this video help you lot in your examination so let's start our numerical here we have a beam which is uh, having a fixed support at uh, point a and another hinge support at point b and c so this uh, numerical is consisting of a point load at point at a three meter distance in span of AB and uh, it is having uniformly distributed load of the 10 kN per meter over all the span BC which is having the 6 meter distance ok so now uh, let me tell you one thing in the examination the theory question is maximum, maximumly asked in exam ok so if this question is going like this um, a point load 40 kN is uh, provided uh, at 3 meter distance from uh, support A where support A is a fixed support and uh, the 2 meter uh, from the support A the point uh, the the hinge support is provided at point B at 5 meter distance and, and on the span 6 meter of BC the 10 kN uh, per meter uh, UDL is provided ok so this type of the theoretical question can be given in examination for the for the per slope deflection method or any type of the structure designing numerical like cantilever it uh, um, Claproton's theorem, okay, Kani's method also, okay. So, likewise, for a beam, the you know, theory question can be given, okay. So, okay, this is clear now. For the further calculation of the slope deflection method, let me tell you one thing this is very important that uh, we have to go through some procedure. We have to step number one is a fixed end movement, step number two is a slope deflection equation, step number three, we have to equally we have to make some equilibrium condition. In, uh, from that we can uh, use these four equations after that uh, solving two equation we get some value and then we go for then our final output is movement of AB movement of BA movement of CB and CD okay so now uh, let's start first of all uh, what we have to do first we have to calculate the fixed end movement fixed end movement there is some formula which is used for the calculation now here if I am providing, if I am applying one formula of the fixed end movement over here, so 40 kN is a W4 span AB, this is 3 meter is a A and 2 meter is a B. Okay, so formula for fixed movement of AB is W A B square upon L square that means 5. Okay, and from fixed uh, movement for B A is W A square B upon L square. Okay, remember one thing W. I, if I am going to calculate the, if I am applying the formula for a fixed end movement for AB, so it is like W, A is as, as it is B square, that means opposite span, opposite distance square. Okay, so likewise, and uh, sign convention is like from AB is anti clockwise direction, so BA is clockwise, BC is anti clockwise direction, so CB is a clockwise. Now, this is my right hand direction, so I provided you, at, I tell you one thing that AB. That means this is a left side so from left side going for the always negative from right side it is always positive okay so now uh, similarly fixed movement a b minus w minus w a b square upon l square put all the value plus w a b square upon l square okay so put this value over here you got some value for the fixed movement not a movement then similarly for a bc but it is a udl is provided over here so for that the formula is w l square by 12 so now you have to provide it sign convention for BC is a minus and for a CB is a plus because CB is in a uh, clockwise direction and BC is an anti-clockwise direction. So now after getting all this value you have to calculate slope deflection you have to apply slope deflection equation to uh, to make the slow equation okay for a moment. So now we have to we are going to make one equation we are there are four equation can be formed like a moment of AB we have to calculate moment of BA moment of BC and moment of CB okay so now Moment of AB equation in slope deflection equation is like this. First, you have to take the fixed moment. Moment of AB equals to moment of fixed moment of AB. Okay. Plus twice EI by L is a constant terminology. Plus twice theta A plus theta B. Why we are uh, twice theta is provided? Because it where the 2 is provided, 
a starting a b so to uh, a provide a two to a point that means theta m. okay so now after that and pro uh, and uh, make one equation like minus 19.2 plus 0.6 0.6 is coming from this calculation 2 multiplied by 1.4 divided by 5 and e is as it is constant why i take the theta a as zero because because there is a provider fixed support that's why i take the zero in the theta a portion okay now further proceed for the b a uh, b a movement okay so for that equation is like fixed movement of b a plus twice theta by l twice e a by l in bracket 2 into theta b plus theta a here somewhat mistaken this is 2 into theta b plus theta a where theta is equal to zero because of the fixity of the support okay then you also got the two equation similarly go for the movement equation bc okay bc is like fixed movement of bc plus twice ea by l 2 into bc 2 into theta b plus theta c okay like this there we have to just put the value not any more calculation after that go for the movement of cb same what um, uh, fixed movement of cb plus 2 ea by l twice of theta c plus theta b okay after that we have to, this up to this it is very simple okay now this is up to step number two now you have to go for a apply the equilibrium condition equilibrium condition if you are providing so likewise movement of ba plus movement of bc equals to zero okay why are providing only here because it is a fin support so that's why and it is joint so for that movement of ba and movement of bc equals to zero we are giving one equilibrium condition okay now what we have to do, uh, do with this equation movement of ba plus movement of bc we have to add and we have to equate equal to zero okay so movement of ba and movement of bc when we equate like this ba and bc equals to zero okay we are uh, put it this these are our two equation over there then at the same time we got this equation when we solve that okay ei ei the term adding okay the this term is get added so we got this equation okay yeah right uh, that means 28.8 minus 30 so minus 30 is getting 1.2 over here so minus 1.2 getting over there it is getting positive okay so now this is uh, what we uh, get over there equation number one now we go for that c point and here a hinge support is there so we take movement at cb equals to zero Do, if the fixed support is there we doesn't take the c equals to zero because theta is zero that point theta is not calculated okay so because of the hinge the theta can be calculated okay so movement of cb equals to zero we take so take the movement of cb equals to zero sorry okay this equation equate this equation take it out the th uh, 30 over there okay so equation like 30 plus uh, 1.33 ea uh, sorry 1.33 ea at point c plus uh, 0.667 ea at point b okay so take it the 30 over there it is getting minus now solving this equation and this equation simultaneously then we got the equation like this okay we have to b b you can see two variables okay properly b b b b so we can solve simultaneously so we can get solid is b equals to 7.372 upon ea and ic equals to minus 26.194 ea okay so this is positive this is clockwise this is anti-clockwise okay we got this is not ic this is c okay if the ei value is given then put the value over there and solve the value if it's not given then no problem okay now multiply above equation in the slope deflection equation now what we have to do we have to put this equation over there okay and after that that means you have to use this equation over here okay in the form of theta b and then you got the answer okay you have to put the equation over here and after that just you have to put the value over there okay 19.6 multiply by this value okay then you got bigger this ei and this ei get cancelled and you get one get one value Similarly, you have to put in all equation in particular value. Movement of CB is getting zero. Okay. Now, because there is a no any movement is coming on, coming along. Okay. We got this value. Okay. Sometime it happens, sometimes it will not happen also. Okay. So we are getting the movement at AB, movement getting at B and movement getting at BC and movement at CB is zero. Okay. So now, now we go for another calculation. But first, you have to apply. Sorry. Uh, you have to apply this movement in the diagrammatical format okay this diagrammatical format you have to apply whatever the movement a b b a b c and c b is coming along here you have to apply in the two span here in the two span that is movement of a b b a b c and c b what you have to place likewise positive and anti-clockwise okay 
now then we are for, uh, further proceeding for a calculation how it is coming 14.8 the 14.8 is like this is anti clockwise direction okay so it is getting 14.8 at this point okay now this 14.8 is getting upward direction up to this 40 kilo newton it's coming still like this and 40 is getting downward so 14.8 minus of 40 so this coming that are getting uh, getting at the falling and this is getting up to that this uh, this point oh uh, shit up to this point only okay similarly process is going on point 44 why this is 11.44 we are getting over there vba because the support reaction is only there we have we calculate support we first of we have to calculate the support reaction actually okay so from the support reaction we calculate this va and vb so v is getting upward direction is coming along here v is 11.424 is minusing from that point and it is get uh, at the bottom then it is coming over at 28.5 and 28.5 plus adding all the value then getting in up direction because of the udl the point of contra picture is coming along here and getting in a cross okay likewise it is a simple bending moment you have to provide okay 48 point kilonewton and 40 kilonewton the simple bending moment formula you have to apply over here for a uh, for a triangle and for this uh, semicircular the udl okay the what the we got the udl from the ending point is 14.8 and 37.5 and 0 or here you have to just put it down and just make the calculation make the diagram like this now this simple bending moment diagram and this is the moment bending what we got from the our last calculation is over here so we have to merge both of them and the above portion which is not under this point is the positive uh, bending moment and the what under this point it is this only and this not overlap portion only single portion this and this are getting a uh, negative and overlap portion is neutral okay and this is the elastic curve we got okay elastic curve i explain in a in another chapter okay so thank you for watching my tutorial keep watching keep learning and please don't forget to subscribe my channel and please like this video thank you bye bye